Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm going to talk about Murder Party, which I literally just watched on Netflix. I'll find out if it's available on any other streaming platforms or in physical copy down below as usual. Also, the details about the movie will also be down in the description if you want to check that out. The movie opened with a seemingly lonely guy walking along getting ready for Halloween night when a invitation kind of like blows up at him. He opens it up and I couldn't really tell what it said inside, obvious reasons, but it is the invitation to a murder party from a really unknown source and dude decides maybe this would be a good idea. He does go home. Um, someone smashed his pumpkin, so instead of being really sad about it, he ended up making a pumpkin bread, which was cool. I liked his take on that. And then he had rented a bunch of videotapes so his cat wouldn't get out of his chair. We don't know what that's like. That ends up kind of being the final, you know, part of his decision making and going to this party. It looks as though he had just moved in so he had a lot of cardboard boxes and fashioned himself an actually pretty decent night costume out of said boxes and duct tape, which is one of the best substances in the world. He follows the directions to the party. Uh, there's a lot of funny stuff that happens on the way. You kind of get this feeling that he's a loner and he's pretty meek and maybe won't stand up for himself in a lot of situations. He's a little scared of his surroundings. He shows up to the party in a weird warehouse. Um, a bunch of people wearing random costumes, of course, are there. Then they start to panic, like, oh, cover your face. So they're pretty much the murderers and they invited him to their murder party. So after a very um, unfortunate death that kind of made me think of Dale and Tucker versus evil with one of the murderers, they then tie him to a chair as to not let him get away and make it a little easier for him, for them to murder him. And all the while they're waiting for some random dude named Alexander. Without spoiling too much, we find out that all the guilty parties involved are your stereotypical artist douchebags that are all competing, they're all in the same collective, they all think that their art is better than the other person's art, and they're, of course, you know, you know, we all know someone like that. So, spoiler free, won't go into it any farther. What did I like about this movie? I liked um, that this definitely doesn't go the way you think it's going to go. There's some weird stuff thrown in there. There's some truth serum drugs that you find out a lot of interesting stuff. I liked the gore a whole lot. I thought it was really believable. I thought they did a really good job on that. Awesome. I liked the, the guy in the knight costume. I don't know that they ever actually revealed his name. I don't remember. But I liked his character development over, you know, the course of the movie. And he's not the typical, I don't even know if I'd say hero, but just survivor. My dislikes. Some of the pacing in the movie seemed like it took a little longer than it really needed to. So it was, I've got a short attention span. It was hard for me to try to stay with it. It felt like a chore at some points. Maybe a bunch of it could have been cut out. To kind of like get to where it's going. We don't need all this backstory. All this truth or dare stuff. That's fine. It could have been worse. I've seen movies with a lot worse pacing. With like 30 minutes that could have been cut out. So that's not that bad. Um, I'd probably give this movie. Like a 3 out of 5. I thought it was a good story. I really liked that the characters were believable. I liked that the one um, antagonist is, like, really into the other antagonist and will, like, drag his ass across the world even after some things have happened for her, which was really interesting. Um, it was a solid movie. I feel like the, the soundtrack was good. I feel like the way things progressed was good. I'd recommend it. Like I said, I found this on Netflix, um, and we'll post more details down below, like the director, the release year, everything like that. But I think you guys should give it a check out. It's worth it. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. 
I'd love to have you. Please hit the like. Leave a comment with your thoughts on the movie. Have you seen this movie? What did you think? Did you, like, kind of commiserate with the main character like I did? I really loved the, the pushing point for him to go to this freaking party was the cat sitting in his chair. And he's like, Sir Lancelot, please move. And the cat's just like, Sir Lancelot, please move. Okay, fine. And he leaves. And it's like, yeah, that's actually how everyone with a cat talks to their cat because they really do rule the house. But anyways, um, hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. And enjoy Murder Party. <laughs>